since the concept of ngn was primarily led by by the itu definitely we have so far been talking about what the international telecommunication union had to formalize as the recommendations but at the same time we need to consider which other organizations have been instrumental in helping itu to standardize the documentation in this module we should start with naming these organizations looking at their historical and geographical significance how these organizations have shaped up the ngn documentation and who is eventually the leader in all these first of all some historical and geographical background of these organizations to begin with the etsi or the european telecommunication standards institute from europe the cjk organization the china japan korea in asia are the regional organizations so it means these organizations were primarily looking up after the affairs of telecommunication related issues in their own respective areas but then there are certain geographical organizations the itu the ietf third generation partnership project the ieee the alliance for telecommunication industry solutions and the global system mobile communication alliance now these are the global organizations what is the relationship between the regional organizations and the global organizations with regards to standardization we shall see shortly let's look at this figure in detail it includes all the activities which led towards ngn standardization from different standards bodies we see here the itut at the top naturally the joint repertoire group the focus group and the ngn global standards initiative were all the initiatives which were taken up by the itut and we have discussed them in detail in our prior modules then we have the etsi which implemented t span we'll talk a lot about it in in coming days then we have the 3gpp which released its documentation over time you can see that the release 6 appeared in 2004 and so far release 15 has been um, uh, offered then we have the itf some well known names such as the session initiation protocol the enum the diameter etc so it means that different organizations have indeed played their bit we shall inshallah see all these in detail let's look at a hot emerging broadband technology we all know about it it is the lte and we also are starting to hear things like 5g 6g networks so third generation partnership project is primarily the global organization that is responsible for the standardization of it it is a timeline that shows the evolution of these releases as per the 3gpp all these organizations were not always mutually exclusive 3gpp has closely worked with itf and with etsi likewise itut has also been inheriting a lot of legacy protocol and the standardization from the itf but overall we can say that in the standardization activity the synergy or the harmonization is being provided by itut leadership the i ieee and itf exercise influence not only in documentation per se but also because of the fact that they have a legacy and this legacy is now part of the ngn regarding other organizations like 
China, Japan, Korea and other regional organizations, we see that they also had a role in the initial years when the joint repertoire group started to look into the feasibility of NGNs. Remember that? During those days, the incorporation of IP as the backbone for interoperability was pushed by particularly these organizations. So finally, what we conclude is that the overall contribution to the NGN documentation and NGN standardization is from the whole global community.